Y'all, I cut my hair. <laughs> and it was a little bit shorter than I thought we were going for, but, um, you know, hair grows, and, and here we are. And I'm not mad at it. I feel kind of sassy with the dip, and being honest. But that's not why you clicked on my video today. You clicked on my video because you wanted to see a couple different tips and tricks on how to get wrinkle-free decoupage results. And um, that's what I'm going to share today. So um, I've got a couple ideas. You can let me know in the comments below which one you think works best and which one you've tried. And uh, I think let's stop talking about it and let's start being about it and let's get crafting. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Before we really begin, we need to talk about what decoupage is. And I Googled it and it said, decoupage is a decorative technique that involves gluing cutouts of colored paper or images onto an object and then applying layers of varnish to create a painted or stenciled look. And so today I'm gonna to be using these napkins that I got from Tum Tum. They are three ply, so anytime you're using napkins, or especially napkins, you must separate and only use the top layer, the top ply. And so that's what you see me doing here, separating those out. And this first technique that I'm gonna be trying is using a glue stick to adhere. A lot of times you're gonna see Mod Podge used, and I am gonna be using that later in the video, but this technique um, is supposed to help eliminate wrinkles, and we'll see how it does. So I'm applying a very generous coat, and I believe the first person that I saw do this, I mean, I'm sure tons of people have done it, but Emily from Farm Charm Chic, I saw her do it. So I just applied a really generous layer of the glue stick, and I made sure to, to pay special attention to the edges of the wood cutout because I didn't want anything lifting up or anything like that and I just pressed it down. It was very easy. It didn't feel like it was tearing or pulling or tugging or anything like that, and I just cut out the excess. Now, once it was completely dry, which didn't take too long at all, I used my finger sander to sand off the excess. And I've sped this up for, you know, because you don't wanna watch me <laughs> sanding for 20 minutes, but no, it wouldn't have taken that long anyway. But you take the sander and you like do it in a downward motion from the top down and um, then that's the finished product. Look at, it's just, it's really super cute. I didn't paint this wood piece before I dug up hush because I really wanted to see if there was any type of wrinkles or anything like that, and there's not, y'all. This turned out so good. I mean, this may be one of my new techniques that I start using on the regular. Y'all, I forgot to mention in the introduction that today's video is part of a playlist. It's the five under five dollar challenge, which means you have to create five different DIYs and they each have to cost less than five dollars. But mine probably cost less than mine. Okay, so I used a scrap piece of wood. Okay, it was going to be thrown away. Um, so I don't know how much you want to charge for that. And then I bought a pack of napkins for five dollars. And yeah, you know, it's a little pricey, but you know, we're not gonna talk about that. And then I had Mod Podge, but I had that on hand. So you tell me how much that's gonna cost. I don't know, maybe a dollar each, maybe a dollar 10 each. You know, that's not bad. Anyways, you can let me know what you think in the comments below. But so this, this playlist, it's hosted by Emily from um, Farm Charm Chic. And I love her, I adore her. I think her stuff is really great and fantastic and I'll have her channel linked below. But also, the guest host is Buffy Designs and I'll have a link to that channel in the description box below as well. So be sure and check it out. And don't forget, there's gonna be a playlist. I'm on a playlist, it's not just me. I mean, you know, pretty awesome. But there are other people on the place you're gonna to wanna to check out and I'll have that link below too. So go check it out after you're done watching my video. Okay, back to the video. This next technique is using Mod Podge, and I just used whatever I had on hand. I don't think it really matters. And you just apply a layer of the Mod Podge to the piece that you're decoupaging. And um, I apply, it's not like a overly thick coat, but again, I do pay attention to make sure that I get the Mod Podge on the edges of the wood piece. So that's well covered. And then you're just gonna let it dry. And it just, it. Again, it doesn't take too long for it to completely dry. You're not putting a super thick coat. Otherwise, I guess it would take a long time to dry. But you're gonna let it dry, let it dry completely. And then 
you're going to take that tissue paper or napkin like I'm using and you're going to position it how you want to on the piece. And the nice thing about this is you can reposition it until you, it's exactly where you want it because it's not stuck down. It's, it's dry. It's, it's not wet at all. Then you're going to take some parchment paper and I use my little heat press and I just put, you know, iron it on basically. And you could use a regular iron if you wanted to, but I, I've never tried that. I've just used my heat press, my little mini heat press. This works like a charm, y'all. I cannot stress this enough. And I forget even the first person I saw do this, but I thought, hmm, this is how I'm going to do it. And this is how I've been doing it for the longest time since I saw that. But now that I saw that glue stick method and I tried it out for myself, I may have two ways to decoupage now, <laughs> but we'll have to see how the other ones turn out too. But see, here it is. The edges are nice and clean and there are no wrinkles in this. It, it adheres so well. And like I said, it's wrinkle free. And that's kind of the big thing for me when I'm decoupaging that I don't, I don't like it because of the wrinkles, like the certain methods. I don't like to do them because of the wrinkles. And this method gives you wrinkle free every single time. Quick reminder to check out the links below in the description box to, uh, for a link to Farm Farm Chic's channel and Buffy Designs channel. There are host and guest hosts today. Thank you so much guys for doing, or ladies for doing that for us. And I'm um, also have a link to the playlist. So don't forget to check it out. This method is what I would consider the more traditional way to decoupage. And I'm just making sure I've got my napkin where I want it and I'm only lifting up half and I'm holding kind of the other half down and I'm applying, applying a layer of the Mod Podge on there and I'm using my finger to kind of smooth it out. And then I'm gonna gently lay the napkin down and try really hard not to. Um, sometimes when, if you get it too wet, you can feel the napkin or the tissue paper or whatever you're using kind of pulling and tugging. So you just have to be careful not to manipulate the tissue paper or napkin too much. And so I play it to the other side and then I press down. Now the, the problem with this is almost every time I've done this method, I've gotten wrinkles. And so um, once it's completely dry, you're gonna take your little finger sander or you can use an emery board or just a regular sanding block and you're going to sand down the edges. Or this is how I get clean, you know, nice clean edges. You could also just cut really close to the, the wood piece or whatever piece you're working on. But I choose to do the sanding because I just think it turns out good. There's, I just pointed out, there is a couple spots on here where I don't feel like the, the, um, the, tissue paper adhered to the wood piece very well and this is one reason why I didn't paint any of the pieces before I did the decoupage because I really wanted to be able to see and um, not the white paint would have disguised it more you know so um, I see a little couple spots where I don't think it's really adhered very well but you know I mean it's not bad it's not bad all right here's another kind of spin on the traditional decoupage technique again you are applying a coat of the Mod Podge and then you're going to be applying the napkin on top or tissue paper. Then you're going to use saran wrap to kind of pat things down. And then you're also going to use the saran wrap. You kind of, you can kind of bunch it up and kind of help it, use it to like press out any air bubbles and things like that. Y'all, I don't, I just, I don't know. I just don't like <laughs> applying it to the wet because you really can't move it around. You can't lift it up or anything like that. It's it's stuck like Chuck. You know what I mean? So I just, um, I'm just sanding the edges though, because I want to finish out the piece. And that's how it turned out. There are a couple spots again, where it kind of, um, looks like, you know, it didn't, I don't know. It kind of looks like it maybe didn't adhere as well, but overall it, it's fine. There's a couple spots. I see one spot right there where it looks like it, um, got a little bit of a wrinkle in it. But you know, I mean, you win some, you lose some, and maybe, maybe some of it's a tie. The lighting in here is kind of off and I'm still trying to figure out where to put the lights. But I've got a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget and I'd love it if you join and if you post about whatever you're working on. Yeah, so leave me a little, um, the link is going to be below. You can leave me a comment below too about that if you want to. <laughs> I'm always like, I'll read your comments. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I host that with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. 
and people post the stuff that they're working on and things that they like to create. So it's pretty fun. So join us. All right, back to the video. So now that I've shown you the different techniques, I'm still saying that the iron on transfer method and possibly the glue stick method are going to be my top two go to's whenever I decoupage. You tell me in the comments below what types of techniques you've tried, which ones are your favorite, or if you have any other tips and tricks to, to help the rest of us out. I'm adding this little piece in here because it is kind of a decoupage method, but I call it reverse decoupage. <laughs> and so I'm painting the wood piece white because it needs to be white for this part. And so I'm just using Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White to do that. And I'll let it dry and then I put a layer of Mod Podge down. Now I searched for the image online of the napkin that I'm using and I did a reverse image and I did a grayscale. In hindsight I probably should have left it um, with the color just to kind of see how it transferred but I have an inkjet and um, I think you need a laser jet for the image to be really crisp and clear. There's a channel called Our Upcycled Life. She she does she's like the queen of doing this method so anyway you press down the reversed image onto the piece let it dry completely i often let mine dry overnight and then you're going to take some water and you're just going to gently kind of rub and watch our upcycled life i'll leave a link to her channel below because she really she really rocks this method out but you're just going to kind of um here i'm just sanding away the edges because they're getting in my way but um, you're just going to kind of rub gently because you don't want to rub too hard and rub anything off, but you can rub gently away the excess paper and it leaves the image behind. It's really super cool. I'm, I'm not explaining it very well, but um, it's, it's another decoupage method that I really enjoy doing as well. And here's how it turned out. I love how this piece is neutral and that this piece, you know, just could fit into any style decor, but I really, I really kind of want to try it with a colored you know, a, a paper that's colored to see how it works and see if anything lifts up too much. But yeah, that's how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this technique before. I thought maybe I should change my angle <laughs> because lighting just feels weird to me. Anyways, um, which tip trick was your favorite? Mine, um, I really, I was surprised that the glue stick worked that well. You know, I used the purple one, remember? The purple glue stick. It worked pretty good. Now my favorite method still is the um, iron-on, the heat transfer um, decoupage technique. I, I don't get wrinkles with it. It's easy to do. There's not a whole lot of fuss and muss or anything like that. And you can kind of reposition it, you know, when the, um, because anyway, you can reposition it. That's my favorite. That's, that's all I'm trying to tell you is that's what my favorite was. You tell me what your favorite was, or if you have any other tips and tricks that you use, tell me those in the comments below. And, um, thank y'all for watching. Um, be on the lookout for some more watercolor stuff. If you are into watercolor, leave me a comment. And if you want some tutorials, leave me a comment. Okay. And then also if you have a favorite watercolor artist, leave me a comment because I want to check them out. And um, thanks all for the support. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have an awesome day. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye.